Well, hello and welcome to this exercise of vectors. Now, I've got this particular question from an IGCSE additional mathematics question, but I think it's suitable for um, IGCSE higher tier maths and for GCSE higher tier uh, maths as well. The main difference between the additional maths vector and the IGCSE ordinary maths vector is that for IGCSE, you're, you are almost always given a diagram. But in additional mathematics, that's not the case. It therefore makes sense to do a sketch of what's required. Okay. Now, in this case, I produce a grid, uh, and that's the grid there. So, what I've done is to draw. Um, well, before I, <laughs> before I do that, can I just explain that um, for this grid, uh, one unit is uh, okay. Five units on this grid is equivalent to a p if the grid if the if you move parallel to the x-axis, and you move, if you move to the left-hand side, it becomes minus p. Five units will be what minus p. Similarly, if you move upwards parallel to the y-axis, five units represent a q. And if you move down parallel to the y-axis, five units represent minus q. Okay. Now, with that in mind, these are my um, these are the vectors O A, O B, and O C. First, the O A. And then OB. And finally, OC. Okay. Now, here's the question part A. And it says find vector AB in terms of P and Q. Right. Now, for vector A, B, E, I think there are two ways you can do this because I've got a grid here. Okay. Uh, That's my A, B. And because I cannot go straight from A to B, I have to go from A to O and then from O to B. Okay. Right. That's the first one. So because I'm going against the arrow, it becomes minus P plus Q and then plus 3P minus Q. And when you simplify, you end up with 2p minus 2q. And simplify further, when you factorize, you get 2 into p minus q. Okay? Now, for the second method, I can go 2 units to my right, which is 2p, and then 2 units down. So I end up with 2 into p minus q. And that's what I got there. And now for part b, that says show that the points a, b, and c are collinear. Right. Now, firstly, what I've done there is to, is to firstly draw the vector ac, which is what I got there. And again, I have to remind ourselves of what vector A, B is from part A. And vector A, B is 2P minus 2Q or 2 into P minus Q, 2 into P minus Q. Okay, now I, have, I then have to find what vector A, C is. Okay. Now for vector A, C, as before, I have to go from A to O. And O to C, I cannot go directly from A to C because we do not know the value of vector A C. Okay, so that's vector A C is now minus P plus Q plus 6P minus 4Q. And when you simplify, when you collect collect like terms and then simplify, you end up with vector A C being uh, 5 into P minus Q, as we got there. All right. Now, similarly, I need to do vector BC, which is the third component in this exercise there. So I'm going to look for vector BC. And vector BC, as we did for vector AC, 
I have to go back on myself from B to O. Okay, and then from O to C. And when you simplify, you end up, with, sorry, when you uh, remove brackets, collect like terms, and then simplify, you end up with 3 into P minus Q. So, what you then have is that uh, vector, sorry, uh, 5 into P minus Q is a multiple of 2 into P minus Q and a multiple of 3 into P minus Q. And 3 into P minus Q is also a multiple of 2 into P minus Q. Okay, so they're parallel. So vector AC is a multiple of vector AB and vector BC and parallel to each and they're parallel to each other. Okay. And besides, vector B is common to um, vector AB and to vector BC. So A the points A, B, and C are collinear. Hope that makes sense. I'm sorry I'm going to be slow because this is a revision exercise. I'm not trying to answer the question as you're doing it an example very quickly. Okay, now for uh, part C, part C says find the ratio AB to BC. Now, firstly, uh, AB is 2 into P minus Q there. Okay, and BC. Is 3 into P minus Q there. So the vector of AB to sorry AB to BC then becomes this here 2 into P minus Q to 3 into P minus Q. The P minus Qs will cancel out. And then you end up with uh, ratio AB to BC being 2 to 3. I hope that makes sense. Next slide. Okay, now for this one, it says the point D lies on a, on AC produced such that AC is equal to 2CD. So find OD in terms of P and Q. Now what I've done here is to put the values of AP, so OA and OC and uh, AC. And also, we, we know this already. So, AC is double CD. If you divide both sides by two, AC would then, sorry, a half AC would then be CD. Okay, so CD is a half AC. So, what you then do is CD is a half AC, it then follows that CD is a half of 5 into P minus Q. Um, if we tidy up, it becomes something like 5 into P minus Q divided by 2 there. Okay, now moving on from there. Now OD, which is from there to there, we can find OD by going from uh, O to C, which we know, and then from C to D. And we know C to D is 5 into P minus Q divided by 2. And so now we have. Uh, OD being 6P minus 4Q because that's OC and then we add CD which is 5 into P minus Q divided by 2. Okay now if we then try and simplify that then becomes uh, 12P minus 8Q plus 5 into P minus Q because if we use 2 as the lowest score multiple of 2 and 1 that's what we got there. 12p minus 8q plus 5 into p minus q. If we then uh, open up our brackets, we have that 12p minus 8q plus 5p minus 5q divided by 2. Still going on, uh, we, that follows that OD will then be, when you collect, collect like terms, OD is 17p because 12p and 5p will give me 17p there. And minus 8q and minus 5q will give me uh, 13q. So all of that divided by 2. So if you divide each, um, divide 17p 
by 2 and 13 cubed by 2 we end up with uh, OD being 8.5 p minus 6.5 q and if you want to type this up you can write OD as half of AP minus 6 q now I hope all that makes some sense uh, please please subscribe and thank you for watching